Our work started by thinking about the role of designers in helping politicians and scientists to create the world that is going to survive and the species will live on. And then we realised that um, while designers are able to do certain things that politicians and scientists don't do, they can think in a very lifestyle oriented way, they can deal directly with, with things and attract people into things rather than punishing them, for example. Um, but then we realised that design is part of the problem too, because it's part of the consumer system of overproduction and overconsumption. So we felt we had to redesign design. And that changes quite considerably how people as designers work if they're trying to redesign not at the level of products and services but at the level of lifestyles or uh, um, well-being um, and community the community level of design is very complex and raises ethical questions too so we had to rethink how we ourselves um, work as designers and had to redesign the way that we interact in groups and design many different things that uh, were part of, part of our own processes of being. One of the things we looked at was how living organisms survive um, and try to rethink the way that we create communities um, so that we, part of the process of staying alive is managing your own identity in the context of a changing environment. Um, that is a learning process, or learning is an essential part of that. And, uh, you know, in, in very young children, for example, are very fast learners. Um, obviously, they don't have the experience, but they have a lot of capacity to learn. And uh, I think if we hold these things in our mind about in, in effect, in my, in my view, learning is in order to create adaptive living people. If, if we know how to understand in our environment and adapt to it, then we are learning. Um, so I, that, that to me is a starting point before we then take the syllabus that we often receive from the 19th century or the 18th century and apply it. There's a nurturing aspect of museums. Um, I mean it's, it, in, in a way, it's tempting to see them as kind of geological specimens, that, that, but actually they, they are, um, if you, without museums, you, you, you possibly will throw things away without noticing that you're throwing them away. So, so the, the process itself is very important. Learning, how learning adapts to that, you know, is is something that is an open question. I don't think, I'm not sure I have a very good answer to that particular question. Um, one of my PhD students once did a project. He, had, he looked at evolutionary theory, evolution theory, um, and, and applied it to museum design. Um, w w this particular museum he worked with had experts from different disciplines um, but were having problems of agreement. They, they couldn't because there were so, so many different views. And so he, he said, well, get, get the viewers to come in and look at art, these particular artifacts and tell the experts what they might be. And that brought the experts together. So it was almost like shaking up um, the existing knowledge and uh, challenging it.